with a spark and a flash of ignite. Ambivine here coming at you with some more Final Fantasy VI played quick fast. Now in the last episode, we went through south together, us, us uh, friends and Locke, and we wormed our way down to this basement. And let's get out of the merchant clothes and back into clothes that are suited for a treasure hunter. Whoa, a general. I wonder what she's doing down here. Oh, she's getting repeatedly punched in the face. I was not expecting that kind of thing. Honestly, the first time I saw this, you know, I saw that text bubble, it was like, <gasps> I've seen her before. I thought she was going to be, like, planning something devious instead of getting the crap beaten out of her. Now this is Celis. She is a very good character, very well-rounded, and her special her special move isn't too bad. It you, you need to plan around it a little bit, but it's it can come in handy on occasion. Yeah. And it turns out that Kafka is going to poison an entire kingdom. So hooray! And I guess she's getting executed tomorrow. Which is, I don't know, that seems fast, but I suppose the Empire is pretty, pretty fast when it comes to murdering their prisoners. They seem, they seem like the type to uh, not give a crap. It's, and, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just, uh... Out here? Nope, nothing. I guess we have to save her. Alrighty. And off the wall you go. Lock treasure hunter! Well, no, I mean, you're a traitor, but I you're not a common traitor. Maybe you're being a little hard on yourself. And I kind of like that she's a little hesitant here, because, I mean, it, it would make sense that she's, she wouldn't exactly trust someone who's like, I'm with the Returners, and we're okay with you now, because, you know, she was an Imperial General before she turned traitor. So, there are a lot of little things like that in this game. And here we've got uh, Locke giving her a little wink. And making a promise to make sure that uh, she's she stays all right, that she's protected. Okay, let's see. Gonna fish through his pockets. Oh, there's a clock key in his pocket. Yeah, stealing is wrong. Nah, we're we're gonna take it. Ha! Oh God! All right, ready up for battle, you two. It's good. Uh, oh. Okay. I guess he's dreaming about food, dinner. Kind of feel bad for him because he is going to get his ass kicked later on when uh, when the Empire discovers that uh, one of their most important prisoners is just gone because he was asleep at his post. Now this old clock is not ticking. We wind the clock, however. That. Was that an armoire moves, and we can go through this door. And these chests, uh, three of them contain gold, and one of them is just completely empty. So really, not all that, all that worth, you know, grabbing. At least with the way that I'm doing things, I've got plenty of gold anyway. And there's some treasure chests scattered around there too. But as usual, I'm skipping them in, uh, in the interest of time. Reminds him of someone. Well, he's being purposefully vague, so my money, my money is on a, is on a lover. Can't say for absolutely sure, but pretty, pretty willing to say it's, it's, it's a lover. And we need to head back from South Figaro to the, through the tunnel back to Narsh. Okay. And strange noises. Uh, strange noises that sound like rumbling and rock that's about to collapse. 
Okay, see, we're both trying to figure this out. It's, hello, little turtle. Alright, if you see anything coming from that door, you let me know. If, if they try to get past you, cut them. Okay, well, but... Okay, now the ground is actually shaking. Something's coming out of the wall! Oh my god, it's a super motorcycle! Or er, tunnel armor. I mean, same thing, really. It's It's got spikes everywhere. So... And this, here we're introduced to Solace's runic ability. She can absorb magic, and her uh, MP will increase by the uh, cast cost of the spell that she absorbs. But she doesn't have a sword on because I'm lazy, and uh, she needs to have a compatible sword to be able to use her runic technique. But, yeah. That fight would be super straightforward. It would have, you know, just absorb its lighting attacks and then eventually it'll die. Alright, we are out of here and going straight to Narsh. And that right there is the end of Locke's portion of this campaign. So let's see what Sabin is up to. Yeah? Okay, cool. He's not dead. But see, okay, he didn't fall from the raft. He jumped into the river. There was no fall involved. I, yeah, whatever. Well, okay, there's a big grassy plain and a single house. All right. Oh, well, see what we can find. Oh, okay. Oh, sir. Oh, all right. Bye. Now we could have met up with uh, this person before, but it would have been a little bit out of the way. And we can just talk to him here for the first time. Okay, so we have to... Alright, looks like we're going to have to infiltrate an Imperial base. Who is about to conquer Doma Castle via poison. Oh, cool. Looks like uh, we got a friggin' badass to show us how to get to Doma. Oh. Yeah, okay. Evidently, he has a chance to run away, which sucks, but, eh, I think, at least, yes, I would very much welcome a partner. And, like, honestly, how badass is that to just introduce, introduce yourself, like, the Reaver is always a single step behind me. Okay, so, there's really only one way to go across this continent. So head east and then south, and right here is the Imperial base that Shadow was talking about. But, oh, I was honestly going to go charge again and stab them all, but no. The game appears to not want to let me do that, unfortunately. I mean, between a ninja and basically the reincarnation of Goku in Final Fantasy form, they could probably take down all of these guys without too much trouble. Uh, so, here's the first mention of General Leo, who, by all accounts, is an okay guy, whereas Kefka is a complete asshole nutjob. So, oh, and speaking of the devil, back to the waiting zone! I love this, he's just like, how are you, sir? <laughs> situation normal, situation normal, uh, how are you? And there's just being a dick. He gets worse throughout, you know, worse and worse throughout this entire game. And that's really, really awesome that, you know, he has been, he, well, every character, I should say major character in this game, has an arc. And... I think that's friggin' awesome! So yeah, General Leo sounds like a pretty okay guy. Kevka, still insane. It's a shame that we won't, like, we can't, uh, this is much of a spoiler, it'll be a shame that we can't just, like, sneak up on him and stab him in the ass. Because, I mean, he's a jerk. There's, there's really no other way to put it. And, you know what? He kind of deserves to have his ass stabbed off. 
I would very willingly do it, do it myself. Just be like, I'm a stabbing machine. A drop trowel. Oh no, it's finally happening. The Imperial Apocalypse. But wait, who's this? <gasps> Listen to that flute! And we, here we meet another new party member. Cyan. And on some translations, I believe he's called Cayenne. Uh, it's close enough that I think it's... I don't know. And his armor's bluish. It's not cyan colored, but it's blue. It's close enough. You know, that's all you really need. It's close enough. Especially when you're working with trying to keep, like, any sort of color on metal. Alright, and this is their commander, and we're going to stab the crap out of him by using sword attack. Cyan's special move. Now basically, it's just, there are nine levels, and you select sword attack, and the bar, a bar slowly fills up like the ATB gauge, and when you are at the level that you want to be, then you hit A, and he does different attack depending on which level you select. Alright, kicking ass and taking names. Oh, well, okay, that was really fast. I'm surprised they didn't, there wasn't one soldier who was like an, an NCO or something who didn't rally the troops, but I don't know. It's, I don't think I can really... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's that important, it's just something that's kind of weird. They're all just like, well, commander's dead, cheese it! Ah, and that's what Leo looks like. Dat flat top, man. He rocks it though. He is styling. And this guy is an extra zealous guy. And here Leo is, you know, surprisingly. Uh, I don't want. Uh, looking for the word, and I completely blanked. Surprisingly empathetic, convincing. You know, he's. Because this guy is ready to get stabbed in the name of the Empire, and Leo is willing to say, you know, that's kind of a bad thing, because, you know, you, you've got family, and they want to see you alive again. So, stay alive if you can. Uh-oh, the Empaners. Emp Empaner? The Empanada is summoning him. And, unfortunately, there is no... Uh, spell in this game where you can just warp to different towns. That's a loopy a thing, and I miss it. Miss it so much when it's gone. Okay, now that that cinematic is over... <laughs> now that that cinematic is over, I guess Shadow is trying to get the definition of front of me. So now that that's over, hook left, go down, get surprised, and out comes General Leo. And he's gonna yell at Kafka because Kafka is a dick. See, see Kafka, no trouble, no frigging trouble. No, uh, uh, smack you, smack the back of your hand. Bad. Yeah, I, that's the thing is, I wonder if they kind of realize that they're dealing with an utter sociopath, or you know, it. If they just kind of let Kepka do what he's going to do because he's effective. I mean, he may be a terrible, terrible, horrible person, but they keep him around regardless because, you know, he can get the job done. I I honestly don't know. But, well, see, yeah, even if it means killing his own men, Kepka is dead set on poisoning the hell out of Doma. So, eh... Uh, I don't think the life expectancy of the average Doma citizen is rapidly decreasing. Your history, bub. Apparently, Kepka is Wolverine. I don't know how that works, but... Uh, and let's just punch him. Wow. Levels scaling. That hurt. Two th over 2,000 HP. Pain! To be fair, though, I don't think he has any equipment on him. Well, now he's wounded, at least. Oh, he's laughing. Yeah, actually, you kind of do. You look like you would be a waiter at, like, medieval times or something. 
I've never really been to medieval times, but if I had been, I'm willing to, willing to bet that's what the people at medieval times look like, at least to some extent. But, this is a good spot to end everything, so thank you all so much for watching. This has been me, Amphamine, coming at you with some more Final Fantasy VI played quick, fast, and I will catch all of you on the flip side. Such good music.